होप आप सभी को हमारे मास्टर माइंड मुजामिल का प्रेजेंटेशन पसंद आया होगा एंड यू मस्ट हैव ऑल्सो शेयर लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल इन केस यू हैवेंट दैन काइंडली शेयर लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल नाउ लेट मी ऑल्सो रिमाइंड यू दैट दिस चैनल इज एब्सोल्यूटली फ्री and the biggest advantage of this channel is that even you can participate or give your suggestions to advantagemasterminds@gmail.com i would also like to request you to please watch this program till the very end kyunki isme bahut si choti choti baatein badi bariki se experiments ke dwara samjhai gayi hain and i am sure you are going to like them Today we have A Sabri Vasan and Humaira Maria. Sabri Vasan is going to explain the particle theory of matter and Humaira is going to show you the change of states of matter. Sabri Vasan is a math genius. He just loves to play with numbers. You will be astonished to see some of his math videos with me. He is also very good at video editing and knows a lot about it. And Humaira, she is simply a darling. She is not only a national champion of kabakets, but is also an accomplished dancer, a creative artist, and what not. So, without any further ado, it's over to Sabri Vasan and Humaira. Hi we all know that matter is made up of tiny particles and it is all about the particle which make one state of matter different from other for example look at this solid hum chahe kitne bhi force lagaye hain is solid ko press nahi kar sakte how much ever we can try we can either put a hand inside it or we can press it but we can put a finger inside a glass full of water and yes do you know what happens if we try to dissolve a spoon full of sugar in it let us see what happens Now over here, I have a glass full of water, and I have marked the level of the water using a marker. Now let us see what happens by trying to dissolve the spoonful of sugar in this water. Now what we can see, we can see that the level of the water does not rise. Why? Now over here, we can see the smoke coming out from this incense stick, and we can cut through this in any way as we want. So friends, from this experiment, we conclude that solids have definite shape. They are rigid, but they have least intermolecular space or interparticle space. Liquids and gases have no definite shape. They are not rigid, but they have more intermolecular space or interparticle space. How many they can see solids का अपना shape होता है और liquids और gases का अपना कोई shape नहीं होता. Let us examine another interesting feature of matter that is the movement of particles of matter. क्या आपको मालूम है कि पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर मूव लेट अस सी दिस विद एन एग्जांपल ओवर हियर आई हैव अ ग्लास फुल ऑफ वाटर एंड लेट मी पुट सम बीटरूट जूस इन इट नाउ व्हाट वी कैन सी वी कैन सी द बीटरूट जूस मूविंग इन डिफरेंट डायरेक्शंस ऑन ऑन पोरिंग अ लिटिल मोर इट सीम्स टू मूव इन अ जिगजैग फैशन एंड प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट आई एम नॉट टच्ड और स्टेडेड बट स्टिल इट्स मूविंग ऑन इट्स ओन सो फ्रेंड्स बिफोर कंक्लूडिंग दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट लेट्स सी इन केस ऑफ गैसेस Over here, we can see the smoke coming out from camper at one side and from the incense at other side. But what do I see? I can see the white and black smoke mixing and spreading at different directions at a high speed. There is hardly movement of any air in it, but still is moving in different directions. So, friends, from this experiment, we conclude that particles of matter move constantly. Have you ever wondered why a small drop of liquid or a water, when dropped, always forms a sphere? Now let me drop some water at different heights and show you. Either upwards or downwards, however, I drop it forms a sphere. It is because of the intermolecular force between the particles of matter. There are commonly two intermolecular forces. The first force is known as the cohesive force. This is the force that attracts the particles of water together, and this is why when a liquid or water when dropped always forms a sphere. Another type of force is known as the adhesive force. It is the reason because when the water sticks to the glass, the adhesive force acts between the particles of water and the particles of glass. हमने देखा कि particles of matter के ऊपर दो प्रकार के forces होते हैं, एक के जो cohesive force कहते हैं, जो particles of water को एक साथ करते हैं और इसलिए spherical drops बनती हैं. 
दूसरा फोर्स है जो एडेसिव फोर्स कहते हैं जो पार्टिकल्स ऑफ वाटर और पार्टिकल्स ऑफ ग्लास के बीच में होते हैं फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी कंक्लूड दैट पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर हैव इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्स टू सेमरीज वंस अगेन पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर हैव इंटरमोलिकुलर स्पेस पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर मूव कॉन्स्टेंटली पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर हैव इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्स थैंक यू Hi all, who am I here? As we all know that matter exists in three states, but can matter change from one state to another state? Well, water is one such substance which exists in all three states. So let's study about them. As you can all see that I have some glasses here, and the first glass contains ice. Right now, the ice is not melted. But if we keep this ice like this for some more time, then the ice will start melting. You can see the happening in glass two, and what is happening here in glass three? Well, going back to our first glass, which contains ice, we see as the temperature rises, the ice changes to water. Here in glass two, most of the ice has changed into water. Why did the ice start changing into water? Ice when exposed to higher temperature because room temperature is more than the temperature inside the freezer, and the solid ice starts changing into water, which is liquid. This phenomenon is known as melting. Hindi में इसे पिघलना भी कहते हैं. Okay, now what is happening in glass three? When we heat the water in higher temperature, it started boiling and steam started coming out. That means liquid water started changing into water vapor or gas. This phenomenon is known as boiling or vaporization. Hindi में से उबलना भी कहते हैं. Now let us cover the glass of hot water with a lid and let's see what will happen after some time. I can see water droplets. Wow! Water vapor changes into water droplets. Hmm. So as the temperature decreases, I mean. जब टेम्परेचर कम हो जाता है तो कंडेंसेशन के कारण से भाग फिर से पानी में बदल जाता है दिस फिनोमिन इज नोन एज कंडेंसेशन इट्स इंटरेस्टिंग सो व्हेन द टेम्परेचर डिक्रीजेस द रिवर्स हैपेंस सो लेट मी पुट दिस ग्लास इन द फ्रीजर एंड लेट मी सी इफ आई कैन गेट बैक द आइस यस आई गॉट द आइस फ्रीजर में रखने से पानी जम गया दिस फिनोमिन इज नोन एज फ्रीजिंग और सॉलिडिफिकेशन The entire process is known as the change of state of matter or interconversion of matter. It involves change in state of matter from one state to another state and back to its original state. This change is brought up by the change in temperature or pressure. Let us revise this with the help of diagram. According to this diagram, solid ice changes to water on heating. This process is called melting or fusion. पानी को बॉईल करने से पानी फिर से भाप में बदल जाता है दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड बॉइलिंग और वेपराइजेशन